Welcome everyone to another Star Wars Old Republic video and this one is going to be a short video regarding some updates to the cartel market items that we can expect with patch 5.9.2 coming at the end of July. And um, I believe the last video I put up on my channel was on the items that we could preview on the public test server. So if you haven't already checked out that video, go ahead and check it out. There's an amazing new armor set coming with like a host of really cool mounts and weapons and a, a whole bunch of other good stuff. However, those items have been updated on the newest uh, public test server patch. So we can actually preview some new items that we haven't seen before, as well as uh, see some how some of the items have been updated. And then at the end of this video, thanks to a member of our YouTube community here, I believe they didn't want to be named, however, they were able to find a decoration bundle on the public test server. And when I looked for this afterward, it seemed to have been removed. I also haven't seen this decoration bundle or the images pop up anywhere on any other site or on Reddit or anything. So I think people actually haven't seen this, but it's a new decoration bundle that is catered towards Sith themed decoration. So it's got a ton of really cool stuff. And so I'll show that off at the end of this video. But getting into the new items that we can actually preview here on the public test server. Let's start with the Ancient Sith Lord's Warblade. So we checked this out last time. It is a platinum rarity new kind of big weapon. Probably going to be quite expensive on the cartel market. And looking at its image, we can see that it actually looks quite different. It looks a lot cooler. It's, it seems to have some nicer visual effects associated with the blade. But when we do preview it, we see that it kind of looks very similar to what we saw last time. Except it does seem actually that that purple color has been removed. And when I try to preview it with a crystal, it doesn't show any sort of visual effect. So my hypothesis is that it does have a really cool visual effect associated with it, but we just can't see it in the preview. We're actually going to need to have the item on hand on the character to actually see what sort of visual effect that is. So that is unfortunate, but I do think we can expect a really cool visual effect. And the reason I also am pretty confident in that is because during the last dev live stream, uh, Eric Musco actually said that it's one of the coolest effects or something that he's ever seen and he, he really likes the Vibra Sword. So I think there is going to be something really cool associated with this. But just actually looking at the general design, I do think it's a decent enough looking Vibra Blade. A lot of people were mentioning that it looks similar to the um, sword that we could see in the Clone Wars series where you had the father and like the son and then the daughter and, and the son was the Dark Lord guy and he had the really cool looking sword. It's kind of similar to that. It's also quite similar to some of the uh, weaponry we saw with like Naga Sadao and Marka Ragnos and that whole era of the Sith Empire. We actually see a lot of cool swords and, and weapons coming out of, um, out of those stories and so this does look something very similar to probably what you would see there. And so I do think it's a really cool and nice addition. It's just not something that I particularly I'm kind of crazy about. I do kind of um, think that the overall design could be improved a little bit. However, with the visual effect, I do think that this could possibly grow on me, possibly grow on a lot of you guys as well, and you might end up actually enjoying the weapon a lot. Anyways, enough about that. Let's move on to um, a new weapon that we can actually see. This is actually a Platinum Rarity Heavy Cannon. This one's called the K13FS Heavy Cannon. Uh, here's what it looks like. It's absolutely massive. Uh, in terms of what's kind of new about it, it's got these cool turbo things at the bottom. It's got a laser sticking out of it. But like, I'm not sure how many people are even interested in, in heavy cannons anymore. Maybe like the one or two people that actually um, enjoy collecting this kind of stuff and using it on their commandos or, or companions, uh, they might enjoy um, trying to get this one. But considering it is going to be platinum rarity and so therefore probably quite expensive on the cartel market, I highly doubt anyone's going to be too interested in, in purchasing this either off of the cartel market or off of the GTN. That's just my personal opinion. I don't think we need too many platinum heavy cannons. I, I think uh, blaster rifles and lightsabers are probably going to be a lot more popular. But anyways, moving on, we do actually have a new mount coming in, and this one is a throne mount. Okay, so this is actually um, supposed to be kind of along the lines of the command thrones and the hover chairs and that kind of stuff. But just basing it off of its design, it looks uh, a little bit too big and bulky and the design overall is just not really that appealing to me. What I really liked about the other command thrones, like the recent ones, like the Protector's command throne, is that it's very slick looking, it's very cool. Um, it's something you would expect like really rich dignitaries to be using or really powerful, I don't know, elite in the Sith Empire. This one just looks like something, I don't know, like a scavenger or someone like a junker would be using. It's nonetheless at least a very cool and interesting design and no doubt some people are going to like this. But, um, but for my, my personal take on it is that it's a little bit too big and bulky and it kind of just lacks a lot of finesse to it. Anyways, it is nonetheless a new throne or is it a hover chair or whatever you want to call it. It's pretty cool. 
Now we do also have updates on the tuning and the flare. So we can check out the flare here right now. This is what it looks like. It's the sign of the Dark Lord. Now I was thinking it was going to be a little bit cooler than this. I, I've got to say I'm not digging the purple color. I think if it was red or something, I would like it a lot more. The purple is kind of like, uh, I don't know. And then I do like that whole kind of fire aspect of it. So you know how one quarter of the circle is kind of um, bursting out in fire. I think that's pretty cool. But just in general, it wasn't quite what I was expecting, I guess you could say. It's still pretty nice, just not really what I was expecting. Probably not something I would end up using. I think like the Corrupted Command is a lot cooler. And the um, Eternal Command Flare and other flares like that just kind of have a better appeal to them. Uh, we also have the dark side channeling weapon tuning, so I can show you guys what this looks like. I'll preview it on a, kind of a, um, a saber that doesn't have any visual effect, so that way you can see what the exclusive dark side uh, effect is. And um, checking it out here, it's a little bit underwhelming. It kind of just looks like a black cloud of smoke. We can see if this kind of changes with your crystal color, but nonetheless, I just think the overall effect's a little bit underwhelming. It's very similar to like um, the dark side attuned weapon tuning and the light side attuned weapon tuning, where it just kind of, the, the main effect is just kind of a puff of a certain color of smoke coming out of the hilt of your saber, and there's really nothing else big going on with it. So it's kind of, I would say, kind of like a reskinned weapon tuning because it's very similar to the other effects. There's nothing really big or unique about it. So once again, a little bit disappointing because the name was really cool, and I was expecting something really cool, but it was a little bit underwhelming. And then we also have two new pets here. We have a, a Wetlands Philin or Philin or however you pronounce that. It's just got kind of got multiple eyes, a lot of funky colors. And then we have the remote training probe as well. So those are two new pets that are coming. And before we move on into the decorations, this is actually the end of my narration, but I'm popping this in here right now because I discovered while experimenting a little bit more with the ancient warlord's vibroblade is that um, it actually does have some really cool effects, but they just seem a little hidden right now. So one thing is if we pop on a few weapon tunings on this one, we can actually see that the weapon tuning creates a sort of pulsing effect with the red um, pulse that sort of runs up and down the blade. And um, it kind of runs through the inscriptions that are on the Warblade. And when we actually just simply zoom into the Warblade, we see that it lights up red. So I think that's just actually a side effect of the fact that this is an incomplete version of the item and that it's going to be fixed when it actually gets released for the end of July. But when we do zoom in, we can actually sort of see, I think, what the finished product is going to look like, which is that it actually has a sort of red effect with this, where there's this sort of red color that um, encapsulates all of those inscriptions that we see inscribed into the blade so that's going to be kind of really cool anyways I just think it's um it does definitely enhance the whole entire appeal of the weapon anyways we'll move on to the decorations now I think we've talked enough about this uh this platinum item all right we'll go and jump on into the decorations now uh this one is called the like I believe the name was on the PTS it got removed but it was called the artifact Sith Lord bundle or something or the Sith artifacts bundle looking at the decorations in here once again a huge thanks to um the very kind person who went ahead and actually caught these before I think it was removed from the PTS so we can actually kind of preview them. They're really cool decorations. So the first one we have here is the banner of the separatist movement. So um, a new hanging banner. Then we also have a really cool looking throne. This one is the throne of the Sith Emperor. Once again, it's got that purple color. I don't know what it is about that purple color. It goes well with like Sith Inquisitors because they've always had kind of a purple uh, aspect to their characters. But I just think in general, kind of for Sith, red goes a lot better, especially with the Empire and everything. But anyways, it's, it's a purple colored throne that has some really nice uh, architecture to it. And then we also have the Sith Amulet display case. Um, we have the Sith Chalice Altar, the Sith Lord Remains. So these kind of all seem to be going along that whole theme of being a Sith Lord artifacts. Because that, as we can see from the bottom here where it says Source, that is what it's called. So it's a lot of Sith Lord um, uh, stuff that they probably have in their rooms or something. I don't know. Then we have the Sacrificial Brazier. This one's kind of really cool as well. Then we have the Sacred Sith Scroll. I'm just thinking we could use a lot of these decorations to create your own kind of Sith museum or something. I guess that would be kind of cool. We have the Pillar of the Desolate Sith. That one's really cool. And at, one thing that gets lost with a lot of these previews is the actual visual effects that can happen. Like for example, with this pillar here, we see that there is going to be some sort of blue uh, cloud of smoke coming out from the top and stuff. But sometimes if that visual effect isn't captured, uh, it just doesn't show in the preview. So a lot of these might actually have some cool visual effect with them. We also have the Dark Council Tribute Statue. 
And then finally, we have the Sith Lord weapon rack. No, sorry, not finally. We actually have a few more. That uh, sword looks pretty cool on the weapon rack. We also have a lava pool. So this one's, I think, really cool as well. Not so much along some sort of Sith theme, more like something, I don't know, Iocath or something like that, but really cool. We have a Sith Academy chair. We also have a Sith Holocron cabinet. I'll shoot off some of these pretty quickly because um, they're kind of just generic. The Dark Council long table. Then we have the Dark Lord chandelier. So there you have it guys, some really awesome, good looking Sith themed decorations. Uh, this bundle I can tell is really cool, gonna go well with the last bundle they released, which was like the personnel one where they gave a ton of Jedi and Sith stuff, like Jedi and Sith personnel, so like uh, Sith ritualists and warrior and this and that. And so I guess these two bundles kind of go really well together. And I guess we could also expect a Jedi themed bundle coming soon later too. But these decorations are just super sweet. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video and I hope you guys enjoyed this preview. As always, let me know what you guys think about these items in the comment section. And I will see you guys in the next one.